Welcome to your weekly airplane news update. This is the week of March 7th, 2022. We'll get four stories for you this week. The first one has to do with EV toll. Uh, NetJets is buying 150 EV tolls. We'll talk about that. Uh, we'll talk about Ukraine that vows to rebuild AN-225 after it was uh, destroyed during the invasion by Russia. Uh, we'll talk about a drunk pilot that was removed from a JetBlue flight. That's, uh, yeah, not a good story right there. And then lastly, we'll do a follow-up on the PSI troubles that we talked about last week. So let's get to it. All right, and the first story this week is NetJets going to buy 150 EV tall, EV tall uh, elect electric vertical and takeoff and landing aircraft. Uh, this is kind of uh, the next thing that we've seen uh, with large companies trying to invest in EV tall technology. Uh, the aircraft will be operational as a Part 135 charter aircraft, which is uh, basically designed as carrying uh, passengers, not 121 like the airlines. But uh, NetJets says that they will base the aircraft in Florida and they're going to create a network for um, uh, serving different parts of the states. They'll also create different vertiport facilities that are going to act as non-traditional airport locations where the aircraft will be able to operate to and from. So more information, we'll put a link down to the article in the description. Next story this week comes from Ukraine. Uh, I'm sure you've been following what's happening over there. Uh, we reported last week about the AN-225 that was uh, destroyed during uh, one of the raid on the airport. Uh, they were, we weren't sure at the time 100% about what was going on. Uh, the day that we posted the video, actually, some actual images came out of the uh, aircraft that was destroyed inside of the hangar. Uh, it looked like uh, part of the wing was detached on one side uh, after the fire. Uh, on Friday, the um, those pictures were posted, the, the government, the Ukrainian government, said that they will rebuild the AN-225, and then uh, they said that actually they were going to send the bill as well to uh, Putin. So uh, this will be interesting to see. I'm sure with the drive currently in the country, this is something that they will be uh, completing, and we can't wait to report on more of this. Next story this week, not a good one, the uh, Don't Be That Guy segment. Uh, this is not happening in Florida, interestingly, but uh, a drunk pilot was removed from an A320 aircraft uh, from a JetBlue flight, and uh, they were supposed to take off from uh, Buffalo, uh, Ni Niagara Falls International Airport last weekend. And uh, the 52-year-old pilot actually blew a 0.17 on the breathalyzer, and which is not good. Uh, they were uh, they were caught by the TSA. Uh, JetBlue says that they've removed the pilot from the duty, and then the FAA is actually investigating the accident. Um, yeah, this is just not good news. Uh, not something that we want to see. Just glad that they were able to get caught before anything else happened. Last story this week has to do with something we talked about last week, which is PSI. The testing company was having issues with their testing. Uh, we had a lot of you reach out. Thank you for doing that. Uh, not an acceptable situation. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, the uh, PSI provides a service, an expensive service, I should say. They've raised their prices several times over the last couple of years uh, for the testing, and uh, they need to be held accountable to actually providing said service. So if you were actually uh, affected by this, uh, the computers were extremely slow. Some people were not able to finish their tests with some questions left unanswered, even within the two hour uh, time that was allocated for the test. So if this happened to you, we're going to put a, a bunch of links down in the description. Make sure you email PSI and ask for uh, reimbursement. Uh, also ask, uh, email the, the FAA testing branch. They are in charge of overseeing this entire process. Make sure you let them know about your situation. And then lastly, send me an email so I know and I can report it and do a larger email to the FA. Uh, we are in communication with the FA at the moment actually to uh, try to make sure that this doesn't happen uh, again and make sure that PSI is held accountable. So um, as always, like, subscribe, leave your comments, and then I'll see you guys next week.